Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we have a new ESC and this is from Emacs and it's called the Bullet Pro 35 Amp ESC. Now previously we have tested the original Bullet series from Emacs if we could call them that. Those tested absolutely horrible. They were like the top two worst ESCs on the planet other next to the Racer Star MS series at least from the ones I've tested. Those were the worst things I've ever tested and ever seen. And if you go ahead and search the older ones up, you would find, you know, in RC groups, people's ESCs catching fire left and right. So, here's a new line of bullet ESCs from Emacs, and hopefully this one's going to do better. So, uh, we are going to be torture testing it, and we're going to be noise testing it, and we're going to see how well it does here on the bench. If it does good, we'll stick it on a quad, take it up for a flight. Or put it on our ESC testing quad and see how well it performs. So before beginning, before we begin testing, let's go ahead and just talk over some of the specs and some of the dimensions and the weight. So as you can see here, we have just six caps, just for nice little filtration, so that's better than the previous one. A nice little tantalum capacitor, that's awesome right there. You got your RGB LED, nice heatsink. We have what is that? Six, um, three. Yeah, we have six nice MOSFETs. Actually, more. Do we have nine? Hmm. No, we have six, so it's just two rows of three, so that's good in that perspective. I mean, the overall board looks very clean. It doesn't look very, um, it doesn't look like it's bad quality. It looks very nice here. I don't see any defects or anything weird, so it looks pretty nice. And we still have here a couple more capacitors. I think these might be low ESR ones, but actually, so that's pretty good. I've already tested it, so I know how well it performed. So let's go ahead and talk about the dimensions here. So it's a four... The width here is 14.2 millimeters and the length is 29 millimeters. It weighed around, say, 7 grams. They're stating 6.4 or 6.2 without the wires, but I got it right now around 7 grams. Everything is silicone. However, don't mistake this with the BL Heli 32 ESC. This is a BL Heli S ESC, which means D shot 600 maximum, no telemetry, and it takes a 3 to 6S LiPo. And it's rated for 35 amps and 40 amp burst. However, I don't know if any of you thought this was a Beale Heli 32 ESCs. I don't know if it's the way they market it or just me. I was tripping on it. But, you know, um, yeah, I thought it was a Beale Heli 32 for some reason. When I got it here, I was like, what? Maybe this is a typo. And uh, no, my brain had the typo. So, yeah, overall, it looks clean. And, well, that's all I can really say. So let's just take it on the bench and let's get testing. Alright guys, so how did this one do? Well, this one did a lot better than his previous one, that's for sure. So I would consider this in the mid-range of ESCs where it might have some noise and it might be good depending on your motors. Here was it was somewhat average. It was I was kind of rated around the Spedex ESCs, maybe a little bit better. Um, the average voltage drop was around 12 volts. Voltage spike was around 23 volts. So that's in that's you know that's respectable. It's very good. It's not bad or it's not super crazy. So overall, it looks like a nice one. Um, so I will be building this. I have no idea when. I'm just backed up with builds right now. So we'll be building it sometime very soon. However, if anyone's used them out there, please let us know down in the comment section how that went for you. But overall, it seems pretty nice, and I really truly believe these two might be two uh, low ESR caps here. So, that's going to be pretty good. So, overall, you know, um, it seems pretty good. I mean, I, I really can't say much about it right now. This is all I can say on the bench here. And it did a lot better than its previous one. That's a thousand percent sure in that perspective. And, well, that's it, guys. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions... Feel free to let me know, and I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.